Right then, okay, so what I'm going to do in this short video is share with you how I like to brighten up vocals in a track using Dynamic EQ. What I'm going to do first is show you the settings and show you what the Dynamic EQ is doing, and then I'll give you a before and after. So the first thing I do is I get this band, which a lot of people refer to as the air in a vocal, and that's usually around the 7 kilohertz area. At the moment, this is set to 7.5 kilohertz or thereabouts, and as you can see, what I'm doing is boosting that quite drastically okay so i'm boosting it quite a lot but then what i'm doing is using the threshold and the range so that whenever a phonetic or a syllable or something comes in that would be too harsh with that boost so for example the obvious one s's like tss and sh and that kind of thing what i'm doing is getting that to duck down every time something comes in that would be too much. But as you can see from the attack and release settings, it's happening quite quickly. So as soon as that phonetic has gone, that transient sound has gone, it quickly brings back up the air in the track. So the rest of the vocal has this clarity to it, this, this nice sort of shine to it. And that's what's happening there. The next band is around the, the 1K area, which sometimes to me can be a little bit sharp on the ears when those notes come through. So what that's actually doing very gently is with the threshold and the range, only 1.2 dB, um, is just ducking that when those notes do come through in that area just to try and tame it a little bit. The next thing that I'm doing is going down to this band, which is at 140 hertz. And with this, using the threshold and the range, I'm doing the opposite. So when the notes go lower and quieter and some of those bass frequencies are present in the vocal, this is actually bringing them up slightly. And again, with quite a fast attack time and a slightly slower release time. But as you can see there, it's bringing up some of those lower frequencies in the vocal when it's needed. And that just kind of balances it out and along with the air in the top frequencies, just kind of thickens it up on certain words and at certain points in the vocal. So as you can see, it's kind of the opposite and it's actually lifting those frequencies when they're present, whereas everything else is kind of ducking those frequencies when they're needed. But the rest of the time, for the sort of sustained notes in the vocal, they all have this presence. And now what I'm gonna do is show you a before and after. And that's it for this video. If you like this video or you found it interesting, please give it a like and do subscribe because I will be back with more. And for all the music from me, just search Shotty4HF in all the usual places. You should be able to find it. If you can check that out, that would be massively appreciated. Until the next video, take it easy, stay creative, keep smiling, sound. <laughs>